Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Dick. Let's continue our journeys. Episode 7 Good Neighbors. We haven't seen Guy for days. He hasn't stopped by. I haven't seen him around Katie's either. He was very upset when we mentioned the police. He ran away very scared. Poor kid, who knows what he may have gone through with the police. What do I do? I need to know what's going on. Go see his grandfather. Let guy come to you. Go see his grandfather, Adam. Risk your life and bring a gun this time. You should go to his grandfather's. That will give us peace of mind. At least to make sure guy is there and not on the street. Peace of mind? I should wear a bulletproof vest in that case. Well, good idea. Maybe if you don't get too close, forget it. It's a bad idea. No, it's okay. I won't get out of the car. I'll quietly drive by. Please be very careful. I gotta go. I'm needed at the restaurant. Have a good day. Yeah, but the bulletproof vest, Adam. You should wear one. Even in the car. And a helmet. Let's get down to business. Will you tell me what kind of group it is? How many people are we talking about? We'll get to that. We still have a lot to talk about, about business. In business, it's better to put everything on the table as soon as possible. I agree, it happened to me when I was setting up the inn. My so-called partner disappeared and left me alone with all the expenses. Don't worry, we're not going into this blindly. We're gonna be like Macy. So we can say that we are on the same page? Yes, absolutely. So were you born in Greenport or did you move here? I was born here, but I also traveled a lot. I visited several countries. But some time ago, I felt a very strong sense of attachment to this place. It's what brought me to open the inn, to see my town grow. I like that she dreams big. It reminds me of myself, yourself. I want to be able to welcome guests, as well as you did with me. Her humility and simplicity are captivating. You did a great job with the inn. You took care of everything to the smallest detail. Yes, it took years of work, but I put a lot of love into it. I like her so much. This has to be a sign. Another threesome. Great partnership. A lovely friendship. With love. I believe that beyond our projects, we will get along well. This may be the start of a beautiful friendship. Something is going on at the square. I didn't hear the whole thing. But several townsfolk were there with you. Things were getting heated. So what do you hear, Adrian? I also saw them when I left home. What could they be up to? If they are led by you, it can't be anything good. We should go and see what it's all about. It may be counterproductive if you go. I can go. Me too. Lila or Sky? Why don't you both go then? Like, why should I choose one? I think it would be better for Lila to go. Hugh doesn't know we know each other. No one will suspect. I'll be back with more details. We need to drive these intruders out of Greenport. They should go back to New York. Listen, say something. Let's just listen. Can I help you? I come as a Greenport resident to find out what is going on. Get out of here, spy! You know, you're on the good side. So this is all against Katie? We are organizing as neighbors, nothing more. Now please leave. 
So yes, why do you have so many enemies, Katie? How did it go with Bernard? Are you alright? I don't see anyone in the house. Bernard must be in the back. But I don't want to risk knocking on the door. There is no sign of Guy. Then please come back. Don't take any more risk. Alright, I'll go back. I thought you say you stay in the car, Adam. Good. See you at home. How did it go? I wasn't able to get more information, but I did realize something. They are plotting against Katie's. So that is a bad business, Layla. You should save yourself right now. Poor kid. I wonder how he's doing. Have you heard from Guy? He hasn't been around for a while. No, there was a misunderstanding a few days ago. He thought we were taking him to the police. I need to do something to get him to trust us. You betrayed his trust, Adam. Let's bring him some yummy food. That always works. We know he likes muffins. We can make some for him. And give him some candy, toy cars, comic books. Maybe a notebook and some pencils so he can draw. That's a wonderful idea, kiddo. Alright, I'll bring him the gift. Or a bribe. Alright, you convince me. Yes, let's bake the muffins first. And then we will go to town to buy toys, books, and supplies. What? Why are you looking at me like that? We're gonna make him happy together. So where are you gonna find this guy though? I'm prouder of you every day. It's not like you know where he is, right? We want to help him, not scare him. We'd better hide. Good thinking. So if you're hiding, you're gonna scare him even more. Oh, I'm here. There's some food in here. Cars, a notebook. Look, he... Oh no, he hurt me. Come out, you don't have to hide. This is... Thank you so much. Dad, tell him. Kid, I wasn't going to call the police. I only want what's best for you. Now this the police. I wasn't expecting this. As you can see, I've gotten a lot of signatures. Perfect. Now it's a legitimate petition from the townspeople. You, it's important to get the word out about this petition. The town hall and I will support you fully. Your administration has been very responsible as it should. Of course, Kitty must not know about this. Why? She has to think this is something that people are asking for. Don't worry, as far as she's concerned, I'm just an angry neighbor. Good, now go. Someone might start getting suspicious. Pass me the knife, please. There's a protest outside. Peace and quiet. What's going on? Greenport is not a peaceful town it used to be. We won't stand for it anymore. And it's all because of you, Katie. Why do you bring troubles everywhere you go? Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on our next journeys.